Hi everyone, my name is Barbara. I'm the owner and founder of Spanish Potatoes and Math for Bilinguals. And today I want to show you a fun uh, science math experiment that you can do, very simple for Groundhog Day. And what I have here, I'll show you how I did this. this is very simple. And this is what we're going to use for a groundhog. And what we're going to do is actually uh, investigate how shadows um, form and what can you do about shadows. Not only can you do some matching, and of course you can talk about shadows, but a good thing to do is to actually measure those. That is actually a standard for um, a lot of things that you might want to do. So there's just three different scenarios and I have here, um, you'll see on the, on the worksheets that there's different placements of your light source and I just have a little flashlight there. I'll show you how to do that. And another thing that you will need if you have older kids, you're gonna need a ruler of course, or um, what I have in the worksheets actually some dots that you can cut out or you can make with maybe a hole puncher you can have some little dots or stickers anything that is a marker that is all the same size that you can create a measurement okay so one of the things we want to do I also want to mention that you can have different characters. There's different characters in there. Of course, you have the groundhog, whether it sees the shadow or does not see the shadow, and whether we're going to have an early spring or not, that you can do that as well. But there's other animals as well that uh, do hibernate and do um, uh, come out during the springtime, of course. And those can be bunnies. And those are the ones that are actually do make a burrow and they do in there they go high they go sleep there during the winter and then during the spring they hop, they um, hop out if you wanted to or they come out from their um, their little burrow okay so that's one thing that you can do you can just do that or you can actually what i did is cut it out and i paste it on to a craft stick then what i use here is just a very simple um uh, uh, it can be uh, an empty, of course, uh, toilet roll, roll of paper or um, a paper towel, a roll. And then what you can do is you can cut this and it's, I believe, it's about, it's about maybe uh, seven and a half centimeters that you can do that. I think it's a good size. Once you do that, you can have uh, construction paper or you can leave it like that if you want to because it is a little bit brown. And then have some green construction paper or printer paper if you wanted to. Um, and then make some little cutouts to make sure that it looks like, um, like grass if you wanted to. Then what you're going to do is actually use your groundhog um, template here or your little groundhog coming out from its little burrow like this is coming out <laughs> and then what you're going to do is actually you're going to use a white piece of paper that I have here let me show you how to create the shadow there's several ways you can do it of course you can have a flashlight and then for this uh, I'm just going to make it a little bit darker so that you can actually see what those shadows are going to look like so it's going to be a little darker here And this is the fun part because you can create shadows and I have a light source here um, that you can uh, see how I do this. And of course, um, you can go outside to do this. This is a great idea to go do it on a sunny day and create what those shadows are. You can use a, a flashlight. You can even use the flashlight on your phone if you wanted it to. But the important part is that when you place your and I'm going to place it here and of course if you wanted to do it this way you can do it this way of course but my light source is on this side so when you make the shadow and of course depends how, the distance from your object to your light source and those are going to be the different types of shadow so what I did was place my shadow at a certain length and I have some recommendations that you can do on there um, on the worksheets that you can practice, see what kind of shadows you can create. And you can actually draw those around like this one. And then you can even create uh, different shadows like this one right here. And then you can draw, just draw a sketch of what that is. And the important part is once you draw that is um, on your worksheet is you're going to begin by investigating is your think questions do shadows change length yes or no I think shadows do or don't change length 
And what did you find? I found that the shadow has a certain amount of centimeters or a certain amount of dots. Pregunta para pensar, ¿las sombras cambian a lo largo? ¿Sí o no? Yo creo que las sombras cambian, no cambian a lo largo. ¿Qué encontraste? Yo encontré que la sombra tiene unos centímetros o unos lunares. And then on this side, you have collecting your experiment. So what I, I suggest to do is do it this way, so that you have more room. And how long is the shadow? ¿Qué larga es la sombra? And then you can draw it. So let's go ahead and do that. So how long is the shadow? So I'm going to do it both ways. I'm going to take my ruler here and I'm going to measure in centimeters and I'm going to measure from the, uh, from the section that the, my little ground hop came out to the longest part and I'm going to try to do it this way here. And that is, and of course you can make an estimate, of course it doesn't have to be exactly 14.8, but it has, it's approximately 15 centimeters. So what I'm going to do is, how long is the shadow? It's 15 centimeters, 15 centimeters. And then what I'm going to do is, using my ruler, that's one thing. And then I'm going to use my, um, excuse me, my, my little dots here. And I'm going to place them here so that I have an idea where that measurement is. And then, of course, I have other ones that I have here that you can, uh, that we're going to use here. So here's my other one. So it's about four, maybe if you want to, four and a half dots. 4.5 dots, or you can say it's four and a half dots. Okay or just four dots, it's just if you're working for preschoolers, um, young learners, just keep it at four dots, of course. Older kids, um, um, I would keep it maybe as a fraction. And then what is that sketch of your shadow? What is that sketch of your shadow? And then you can just draw a very simple <laughs> shadow, what that is, you can even color it in. And then on here, you can do the same thing, 15 and then four dots. 15 and four, cuatro lunares, 15 y cuatro. And then um, investigate what are those things that you found out about the shadow. You can do the same thing for the smaller one. I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to write it here on the, on the side here for the smaller one. And then for the smaller one, I believe I, because it was closer, I'm going to measure right here. It's about seven centimeters. So seven centimeters for the shorter one. And of course it's gonna be maybe two of these and it's gonna be two dots. So what does that tell you as far as, as it gets closer, as your object gets closer to the surface there, what does it tell you about um, your shadow? It tells you it gets more and more defined it gets even it changes from being so big to being small. Big, let's see if I can do this again. Big here to small or large and short. Okay, um, let's see if I can do that again there. Long or short, larga y corta. Okay, those are all different types of ways that you can compare because when you do something like this, it's a good thing to, to start thinking about comparison, um, thinking about what's long and short, any other type of vocabulary that you are looking into investigate with this science experiment. I, again, there's several types of situations that you have here. There's extra copies that you can use for different types of situations that you wanted to. And it's so you're not just using one sheet of paper. So I hope you, you enjoy this. Uh, I'm going to turn up the, uh, my light here a little bit more so you can see the final here uh, part of my experiment here. And I hope that you enjoyed this uh, very brief groundhog shadow lesson that we have done for today. Hope you give it a try. Tell me how it goes. I love your comments or suggestions. Uh, please uh, do let me know how you like this video and I hope you join me next time. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye everyone.